Well, a pleasant good night to each and every one of you from Into Guyana and all over the world who are looking at this video. Tonight I take the pleasure and the honor to sit here to address the world. As you know, today is the 26th of December. In the British colony, it is considered a day of a holiday, which is Boxing Day, the day after Christmas. How it come about, why it came about, I don't know, but I'm not going to get into that. As you know, everybody like a day, especially a working man, but a lazy man got many days. I want to make it clear. Many of you believe in the day Christmas, the day when Jesus was founded on the 25th of December. But if we follow the stars and the wise men, the three wise men, and the history, he may consider born between October. But I'm not going to get into that because ages and times have passed, but to celebrate the day, a day of memory when the child was discovered, the 25th of December maybe. So they say that was the birth. But regardless of whatever event it was, it was a child that born into this world that lost his life for a principle, a belief, a humanitarian way of condemning hypocrites, governors, leaders as kings, and senators, and corrupt businessmen, lawyers, physicians, because they were all hypocrites. And the biggest catastrophe, or I may say when he have created the biggest problem for them, is when he went to the synagogue and threw them out and called them a bunch of thieves and hypocrites and his father house is not a place for that. That was the sentence, nothing else. Well, with this, I want to say many people around the world, whether you believe in the teaching of Jesus or not, he was a man like you and I, but he had a vision and a message. Whether he was the son of God or the son of Mary, like we are all children of God, but none of us are fortunate like him. And none of us will go through the pain and tragedy that he went through according to history and die for his fellow human being. Whether he was descended into the heaven or not, or was sending by God, that is not our problem. Our problem is to see when a man lost everything and give up his life for his principle, his belief, and what he thinks about other human beings. He was always there for the poor, the weak, the needy, even help them. There was no difference with him and his disciple. Even though those 12 people are wrong him, I call them opportunists and not a set of hypocrites again. Only was going with him because they wanted to survive. They wanted to get everything their way. But he had known it all. With that, innocent men and women around the world from then to now still suffer. Many men are in prison for crime they did not commit. Many women take the street of prostitution and be kicked out. Many men and women suffer. Due to that, many children are suffering also. We have politicians who believe by bombing countries they will get the answer to civilization and they will set the example because they are not in a battlefield. Why are we killing each other for a principal belief when life could be better if we can speak with one understanding and one language to unite this world and make it a better place? How many years does a man live or not? 150? 200? 300? No! And even if you pass 85 in good health, you lose your hearing or your sight or something about your nerve because your body starts to close down. So ladies and gentlemen, why I'm saying this is to make it clear. Today, I was looking at a video on Georgetown, Guyana. Under the present administration led by David Granger, the president of the Cooperated Republic of Guyana. Since our country independence from 1966 to now, it is one of the first time ever a leader has risen that have given freedom to prisoners. Whether they were right or wrong, he pardoned them. Maybe he was a Pontius Pilate of today, who was in those days. And what is the greatest thing again? In the video, what I saw today, I don't know if it's a minister from parliament, from the mayor's office, or a minister from church. She gathered, and this happens to be a African descendant, a black woman, with many other black people, young men, young women, middle-aged, and one or two Amerindian and Portuguese between them. 
They take Merriman Hall Mall in Georgetown. They build up place to give the homeless a shower, a haircut, clothes, and food to eat. What a great humanitarian way of showing love for each other. Regardless of your age or your principal belief or religion, she had taken it upon herself or may be advised by the president or others in ministers to show love to her fellow brothers and sisters. We have never seen this before. Are we hitting on the part of bridging the gap between the rich, the middle class, and the poor? Are we trying to understand that we are our brother's keeper and not our brother's slave drivers? And who are better? I did not see it with Barnum, the late, Desmond Hoyt, the late. I didn't see it with Chelly Jagan, the late, or Mrs. Jagan, the late. And I didn't see it with Mr. Barra Jack Gill. But it comes down to a final thing. I have to congratulate that woman. I do not know her name. But just for remembering the homeless men and women and children who get caught up in Guyana economical problems and cannot afford to pay rent, cannot afford to eat and drink, so they end up on the street. I have to raise my hands to her and says, we need many more. I must make it clear. My son, Mr. Snow and I, we have done that a lot of time in Guyana, helping houses. We had to do the same thing, but we did not broadcast it or take picture of it. But we are very happy when we are seeing these things are happening. But when I look down and I examine, if you are looking at the video, you would believe that Guyana happens to be an African country. I did not see Indians, because there are a lot of homeless, drunkards. There are a lot of homeless children too. I didn't see Portuguese. I didn't see Chinese. And I didn't see maybe one or two mixed race between. But nevertheless, regardless what is the consequences, young men have volunteered at time to cut hair for the homeless. Young women have bring out their food. They even get shower for these men and women. God must bless them. And I hope others will learn from that and continue to do the same. It is not who rule the country, whether you're black, brown, or you're right or you're wrong. It is what you are doing for the country. But I have a message. So with that, I would give you a song that I want you to listen on behalf of this I must say it because there were many silent nights, many, many silent nights and days in Guyana. And therefore, I would like to play the song by Jim Reyes, The Silent Night for those unfortunate children, women and men. I dedicate this song to all patriotic citizens, all who believe in the supreme being, a God, one who share mercy. And if Jesus is the Son of God, feed the poor, remember the sick, wash their feet, and teach them a way of life. As he said, teach a man to fish, and he will take care of his family instead of giving him a fish and he depend on you so this song i dedicate it to all loving human beings who believe in humanity many silent nights and days for the less fortunate especially when the rich share fancy gift to their wife and children and friends and the middle class while the beggar wait in the, the scraps so I dedicate this song to all loving people. Because where we go from here, no one knows. 